All right then guys, what's happening? And welcome back to another iMovie tutorial. So guys, this is my second iMovie tutorial and today we're gonna to be learning how to render or share or whatever you wanna call it, how to get your clips into a format that you can easily upload to such sites as YouTube, Vimeo, you know, whatever. Anyway guys, so I have composed a project here it is uh, 3 minutes 40 seconds, I think, and all the content on here is full HD. So this is going to give you guys sort of impression of what you know your project's going to look like. Anyway, so pretty much the one and only step <laughs> is going to be to click this button up here. Now, this is the share button. Now, you can also go to file share, but anyway, I'm going to hit the share button, and you're going to come to this section here. Now, there are um, eight different settings here. First of all, we have theatre. This is just going to send it to your theatre, email, obviously it's email, iTunes, iTunes. Now the only system I'm going to pay attention to today uh, is YouTube and file. Now I'm not going to show you guys the YouTube setting today, but I'm going to explain it in the file setting. So what I'd advise you to do, even if you're uploading to YouTube, unless you've got a video that is not HD, I would advise you put it in a file format and then upload it to YouTube just because you're going to get a lot better quality. So anyway guys, once you have completed your project, like I have, click on the share and then click file. Now, I think it's going to come up here and it's going to, you know, give you a title here and obviously you can edit it. I'm just going to call this, um, um, actually I'm not going to edit it, I don't think at this current moment, but anyway. Um, so you have, you know, description here, you don't need really to worry about this now. Now, size is important, you're going to choose your size now. Let's say you record at 720p, keep it at 720p, it won't actually allow you to up it to 1080p unless you include something like a title or something, if you guys know what I mean. Um... So obviously 1080p for me, it's going to show you guys, you know, the duration of your clip. You can also scan through it and whatnot. And then next step is to click next. Obviously, wait, go back a sec. You can add it to your theater. Uh, step is next and you're just going to save this. I'm going to save this in my movies. Just going to call it uh, example. And you're going to have this thing over here and this is your sort of um, processing tab. It's going to show you the processing of your video clip. Um, I'm not sure how long this is going to take guys, so I'm probably going to cut it here and I'll come back once the video is rendered. Alright then guys, the video hasn't rendered yet, but I just wanted to show you guys what it's going to look like. So you're going to have this thing up here, and as you can see, it's actually giving me a um, an activity monitor here. It's saying it's got five minutes remaining to uh, transcode it, so this is what it's going to look like when you're actually rendering your video. Alright then guys, it's just rendered. It is over here, and you're going to have a sort of message prop up. It's going to say share successful, share file was successful. So let's just show, and it's going to show where it is in the folder. So let's just open it up, and it's going to play. And I'm not sure what this is going to look like because this is like a compilation video um, and everything and whatnot. So, anyway, guys, thank you very, very much for watching now. The only other share setting is YouTube. I won't be going through that today. It's the same principles, uh, it's probably very self-explanatory, so you guys can check that out. Make sure you leave a like if you have enjoyed this tutorial. Go and check my other iMovie tutorials out in the link below. Um, but I think that's it for today, guys, and I'll catch up with you very soon. Cheers.